Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I have a question for you. Do you ever wonder what will people think just as you're about to press the send button on a LinkedIn campaign, or if you're just about to send a direct message to somebody on LinkedIn, or if you're just pick up, going to pick up the phone to your prospects, do you think, what will people think? I can't do this. Does it stop you from doing what you're planning to do? This is what we're finding more and more these days. There's a lot of uh, fear of what people think. There's a lot of comparison, fear of judgment, all these kind of things. And it's the number one thing that holds us back. So I was working with a client who she needed more money. That's her goal. She wanted more money. So we developed this lovely little strategy where she she identified her target market. She chose 50, 50 individuals. She crafted a beautiful, professional, friendly email to send to these people to introduce herself to them. And yet weeks went by and she still hadn't pressed the button. Well, it turned out she had this thing that she didn't like receiving emails from people she didn't know. It went completely against her values. And because of that, she didn't want to send an email to people who didn't know her because it went against her values. So her, her egos were, was holding her back. It's your ego. So I worked with, well, when I set up my business, I set up my business through cold calling, believe it or not, I bought myself a database and I have my phone and I just used to ring people every day to introduce myself to them, to, show, to share with them what I did or how I could help them or invite them to events. And I did this, I got quite good at it, but I hated it. It was so draining. You had to ring, like make about a hundred calls to book one meeting in. And there was all this rejection, people saying, no, not interested, not answering the phone, throwing the phone down, cutting me short, being offensive, all that kind of stuff. And of course, I didn't like that. And so I stopped and I slowed right down. I procrastinate till the cows came home. I'd find all sorts of other things to do. And then I realized it was just my ego. Your ego is the part of you that wants to look after you, wants to protect you from harm which was good in the old days when saber-toothed tigers were running towards you, but now it's not like that, not in this country. But your ego is still there, and it's trying to protect you from anything that it might hurt you mentally or physically. But mentally, it's things like being rejected. Your, your self-esteem suffers because people are saying no to you. But what we have to do is get over ourselves, if you like, get out of our way and realise what's happening. Because we have no control over what other people think about us, about what we're doing, no control whatsoever. We can't even we can't even second guess. You know, I've got a client who has got a wonderful business, has got a lovely team, and it, he comes to my sessions and it's like, I, I wonder what so and so will think if I do this, or what will they say if I if I say this? And well, you don't know until you ask them. We cannot know. There's no point second guessing or guessing what people are going how they're going to react to us. So we need to get over ourselves, get out of our way, just take perspective of the situation because we have no control over what other people think. They bring their own, people bring their own stuff to the party. You know, they've got their past experiences and that's the lens, if you like, that they're seeing through, seeing through when they, when they interact with you. You have no control over that. We cannot know what people are thinking, going to say. So when we realise that, it gets a bit helpful because those people may be, they are a bit busy at the moment. Maybe they have got something else on their mind. Maybe they've already using your product or service from somebody else. There could be all sorts of reasons why people are saying no. But we just need to get over that and just remember the benefits of our product or service and how we can help other people. And um, there's a guy called Grant Cardone, actually, who he says, if you're not letting people know about your, your business, your product, your service, and how it can help people, you shouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing that, that you're not letting them know. So if you put it that way, then your ego or our ego is stopping us, letting people know that we can help them. And how does that make you feel? So our job is to recognize when this is happening, to realize that it doesn't matter what people think. As long as we are doing what is true to our values, what we really believe in, what we know how we know we how we can help somebody, we're not doing anything wrong, then we need to get over ourselves and just go hell for leather, all in, 100%, no half measures, 
And just remember, your ego, that little voice in your head, is just trying to protect you, but there's nothing to protect you from. Because somebody thinking something about you is not going to harm you. Harm your ego, possibly, but not you. And it's our duty to tell everybody about how we can help them with our product or our service. So I hope that's helpful. If you... Um, if you have any questions about this topic or anything else actually in business uh, or in life, then please do get in touch, subscribe to my show and let me know how you get on with not caring what people think about you. Charles Jones, bye for now.